All right, we're now on page 371. We are now going to be using the addition method, as it's called in the text, to solve. <sighs> we're now going to be using the addition method to solve. <laughs> what the heck are we doing? <laughs> Systems of equations. <laughs> Systems of equations. Um, and the addition method is also known as the elimination method. So we're going to do number one on page 371. This is actually very intuitive. A lot of people like this. When it works, it really works. So on number one on page 371, x plus y equals 10, x minus y equals 8. Um, we're going to do something. I want you to see if you can recognize what we're going to do first. Anybody? Can anybody see? You add them together. You add them together. Exactly. Why? Because what happens to y and negative y when you add them together? They cancel out. They cancel out. Exactly. So go ahead, go on and now. Just put a line under it and you get 2x equals 18. And now you see how quickly this rolls. On these kind of questions, they roll really quickly. 2x equals 18 and x equals 9. And then you substitute x equals 9 back into either one of the equations. Okay, x equals 9. And x equals 9 can go back into here. And we'll get x plus 9 equals, or x, sorry, 9 plus y equals 10. 9 plus y equals 10. Subtract 9 on both sides. You'll get y equals 1. And you've got your solution because you've got your x and you've got your y. So your solution is what? 9, 1. Solution is 9, 1. We're not going to graph this one because we did that earlier. But um, know that that's what it is. If you, what will it look like though? What, what, give us an idea of what it should look like on a graph. It would be a point. It'd be a point, but what would be so special of the point? It'd be the intersection of both lines. Yes, it'd be the intersection of both lines. Uh, the addition method, page 371, number 11. 4x minus 5y equals 7, and minus 4x plus 5y equals 7. Guess what? You notice this is an opposite to that, and that happens to be opposite to that. Oh, yeah. So it's obvious the addition method is the way to go here, because the opposites are going to cancel out. So, so when you add them together, what are we going to do on this question? Well, it's no solution because they both cancel out. So that's right. I guess you could have 0 equals 14. But yes. Like no that's anyway. right. 0 so equals 14. Put a line here. There. That's right. But 0 does not equal, equal 14. 14. That's right. That's good. Good job. So then is it undefined or just no it's solution? It's just no solution. No solution is right. That's it. Undefined would be 1 equals 1. There it is. No solution in all of its glory. All right, number, now we're going to do number 14 on page 371 with the elimination or the addition method. And it starts with x plus y equals negative 7 and 3x plus y equals negative 9. Now what's happening with this one is if you were to add these together, x plus 3x would give you 4x, y plus y would give you 2y, and you'd get negative 16, and that doesn't get you anywhere. I mean, if you do that, which is what a lot of people try to do, you just get something which is not going to get you anywhere at all. You just get this. And that's wrong. It's not, it's not wrong, but it doesn't do anything. So not this. Okay? So what you need to do is make an adjustment. By multiplying this by negative 1, each of those by negative 1, you get minus x, minus y, and plus 7. Minus x minus y equals 7. And then you go ahead, I'm just transferring this over here. 3x plus y equals negative 9. And we go ahead now and we eliminate them by adding them together. You'll get negative x plus 3x is going to be 2x. And the negative y and the y cancel out, which is the whole goal here. So you get 2x, 2x. 2x equals negative 2. 2x equals negative 2 can be worked out so that x equals negative 1. Now that you've got x equals negative 1, you put it back in either equation. Stick it in each x plus y. You can put it in here. Just bring x plus y equals negative 7. And now instead of x plus y equals negative 7, you're going to get negative 1 plus y equals negative 7. And then you're going to solve for y, and you're going to get y equals negative 6. Y equals negative 6. And that's it right there, folks. Now let's take some questions. You have good questions. Isn't it negative 1, 6? Uh, negative 1, negative 6 is our answer. Negative 1, negative 6 is our solution. Go ahead and box it, put it in a package, and send it away. Yes, Tina, your question. Why would you multiply negative 1? Why would we multiply by negative 1? Because we wanted to create a situation in which these would cancel. But how would you get negative 1? Because we can't. Because as long as you multiply by negative 1 equally and evenly, it's okay to do that. And why negative 1? Because it turned this into a negative, and that would become the opposite of that. You see what I'm saying? Well, here's the deal. You, want, you couldn't do anything. If you add y plus y, you'll get 2y, and nothing cancels. But if you multiply this by negative 1, you're going to get minus x minus y, and you set it up to cancel. The minus y and the y are going to cancel. 
And that's why we want to multiply by negative y, or negative 1, sorry. So that's what the elimination method is. It's a two-step process sometimes because you have to actually manipulate something to get it so that it does cancel. The easy ones, the early ones, cancel right away. But these ones you have to take an extra step and multiply it or divide it by something, in this case a negative one, so that it would work. Any other questions? Those are good questions you had before. How do you know How do you know what? Oh, well, how do you know negative one? Again, you want to leave it. Um, why negative one? Well, if you did negative two, it wouldn't work. You'd have negative two x minus two y, and that wouldn't cancel with the y. If you did positive three, it wouldn't work. You'd get three x plus three y, and three y wouldn't cancel with y. You picked negative one. Why? Because you want the, this to cancel with that. That's the whole idea. So you have to multiply by one. No, you have to multiply with whatever you, you can find that will make this cancel with that. So it's different every time. Any other questions? Ah!